Good morning, Becky. Let's bring in J.B. Straubel, who was once the founder of Tesla, is now the CEO and is the founder of Redwood Materials, which is uh, announcing this morning, J.B., that you guys are uh, inking a deal or have inked a deal with Toyota to recycle and repurpose EV batteries. And so many of these, at least initially, will be those Prius batteries from 10, 15 years ago. How many of those batteries do you think are close to the end of their life and that you will ultimately be recycling, repurposing? Well, good morning, Phil. Um, yeah, we're, we're very excited to be uh, jumping into to recycling those old hybrid electric vehicle batteries. Um, there were millions of Priuses and other hybrid vehicles sold, uh, you know, over the last you know 10 to 15 years. And uh, a lot of those are some of the oldest electrified vehicles on the road. So we're able to actually take the, the nickel and other valuable elements from those batteries and sort of and make it into a new chemistry into you know something relevant for lithium ion batteries today when you're talking about uh, the the uh, components that you're going to be able to extract from these batteries if you're not repurposing the battery it gets into the question of raw material prices we've seen them spike uh, for all of the ev battery components how much higher do you expect them to go when you're looking at the market over the next let's say six months to a year well, I think in the six month, six to twelve month time frame, you know, commodity prices um, are certainly at high levels. You know, if you look historically, you know, nickel, lithium, cobalt, copper, you know, we're we're at near all time highs on these metals. Um, you know, this is definitely providing some headwinds, you know, to battery prices and costs. Um, you know, so but I, I don't think we're going to see massive increases. Uh, you know, from here. Uh, you know, the value proposition, interestingly, though, for EVs, despite these high commodity costs, I think is stronger than ever. When you compare, uh, you know, the, the sort of avoided price of, of fuel, of gasoline, you know, even despite these higher materials prices, um, you know, there's wait, wait, uh, wait times for EVs that are longer than they've ever been. JB, back in the day when you were starting Tesla, you guys had some lean times, especially in the beginning. Uh, you know how hard it is to start up an electric vehicle company. So now we've seen some of these companies. I'm talking about Electric Last Mile Solutions, which is filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. There are other startups that are not doing well that are also struggling. Uh, do you think we see more bankruptcies from these startups? And, and would you start an EV company at this point, given the challenges that are out there? Well, I, I, I do think uh, people underestimate, you know, how difficult it is to, to really ramp a high volume manufacturing company. And, uh, you know, certainly an EV company, any automotive company, you know, needs to rely on an efficient production line, efficient supply chain. You know, these are really difficult things, you know, to, to do and do well right now. So, you know, I think we will see some more pain um, amongst uh, the field of startups. Um, but in my mind, there, there's no question that the EV movement is, you know, beyond a point of no return. You know, all the OEM, the large OEMs are accelerating in this direction. And, you know, that will make it harder for new startup entrants. You know, if it was me, you know, I, I would uh, I would think pretty hard about starting a brand new uh, EV company right now and would look at really what that value, what can be added relative to what's happening with other sure. OEMs and Tesla.